Hi everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I'm calling this Blue Monday because it's Monday and hey, um, and it's, yeah, it's pretty blue. So Blue Monday, Blue Monday, and I'm going to be joined by, I'm going to be joined by Pete, who is Conversation of Money. Um, and if you have been keeping up on my stories for like the past sort of 24 hours, then you'll probably see what happened, how I got plucked out of thinner. Um, yeah, I literally got plucked out of thinner <laughs> and trolled <laughs> by hundreds of people, <laughs> which yeah, drastically affected my mental health. So yeah, me and me and Peter are gonna be talking about that and how it affected me. Um, yeah, it was pretty shit. <laughs> that is one way. So. I'm just waiting for Pete to join and then we are gonna we are gonna get going. I guess yeah, yesterday was a pretty Hey, hey girl, hey Pete, Pete's here. Yeah, I guess yesterday was a pretty interesting day. I'm all I'm, am I am I okay? Hmm <laughs> Right, that's a good question. Go live. We are waiting. Connecting. Hey. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Kate, I'm alive. This is what we have to be thankful for. Well, Life. Life I, think, I think regardless of what happened over like the course of yesterday and everything like that, um, ultimately it's been resolved. Um, I think that's a positive. Yeah. I think that ultimately it does um, shine a light on what you're all about yeah definitely our mental health side things so i think ultimately whilst it's not very pleasant and people are just nasty and evil i, I, I think everybody knew that right I and mean, this is the internet after all people are just people are dicks people are fucking assholes and yesterday was a really really clear example of that but we can still be thankful for the fact that it's now resolved in your wealth and that's the most important thing yeah i mean it's been resolved. I mean, I, I don't think it's been resolved to the extent of what I'm happy with. I know we spoke yeah, about true. it. And I feel like it was such a public... It's not like this come from someone that was a small account. It was a huge account. And waking up and having hundreds, hundreds of, like, notifications across YouTube and social media, like there's a multiple feelings, but namely my anxiety. And I think like it definitely just highlights like everything I speak about is mental health. And of all people to get plucked out of thin air for this to happen to, it would have to be the mental health. <laughs> um, and people could see that as well. And that's the worst thing. Like people could actually see on my YouTube that it's what I spoke about and on my Instagram, that's what I spoke about. And they still done it. Yeah, but the thing is, you know what the weirdest thing is? I don't think that people... So, I don't think that whoever came on your account and left you hundreds... Like, those people who left you hundreds of messages and comments even took the time to even be like, maybe I should check out whether this this chick is telling the truth or whether she's just making stuff up. Yeah. This is like... It's almost like herd mentality. Well, I would say herd mentality. It's like a cult. You have your leader. You get told to do something. And you just mindlessly just go and do that. Like we live in, uh, it's, it, I couldn't Jesus, like so yesterday. I was like, surely we are better. This as hu we're better than this as human beings. We all have brains in our head. Like surely you would just go and just Google something. Like Google the name and see if what this person is saying makes sense. Like, but people just don't have that common sense. They just they just follow what they're told to do. And that, for me, was really just the saddest thing from yesterday, really, to be honest. And the fact that nobody actually thought, mm, I don't know, this doesn't, this, mm, this doesn't feel right. This, and not even just this doesn't even feel right, just the common decency of, like, 
it's not nice to just it's not nice to bully people like come on like seriously like what's going on but like maybe we expect yeah. too much from people oh do you know what maybe we don't maybe we're just like the lovely people of this world who treat people with kindness and happen to just get hit with a bunch of shit um mm -hmm. but the thing is had our names been googled it, it it could it could have been easily 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 rectified but the thing is like even today i saw comments of oh it was pre-arranged and pre-recorded and they done this i thought have i really got that much time to cause myself that much stress and that much aggravation to try and draw attention away from myself but then still let myself get targeted like none of it actually made sense and i sat there and i think like my own mind was just going into overdrive for hours. But I think there was a period of about two hours. I think I was just sat there with my phone in my hand, just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling for ages. And like, I couldn't stop thinking. I was like, but why is this happening to me? Like, where has she found my profile? Why is she targeting me? Why is this happening? Like, it didn't, it didn't make any sense at all. And I also feel like people didn't take it seriously. Like when I posted about it, I don't think people took it seriously as to how bad it was. Because like to even, to pull me in it, but then to pull you in it as well, like it just didn't make any sense. Yeah. But look, this is what people, I don't know. I'm kind of like speech, speechless in terms of like the disappointment that I have in in people i mean like my account is generally just like i like i'm all about positivity i hate this negative stuff i absolutely mm -hmm. hate it i think if you put positive energy energy out in the world you generally get positive energy back and i think sometimes negativity has a way of just like percolating and just spreading to places that it's not needed and not wanted and uh, it's <laughs> I almost come to expect it from certain people. Like, if you're if you're constantly feuding on social media, well, what are you going to get? You're going to get people who love the feud, right? And I just think it's, you know, roped into it as we were. I think it's best to just stay as far away from that stuff as much as possible. Although sometimes you just can't help it. But people are people. People can be really just evil. Like, and I think it's it's more the fact that they're either unhappy with their own circumstances so they have to take it on somebody else to make themselves feel better so there's a, a bit of a compensation mechanism going on there and that's just so sad it's so so sad but i just i'm just speechless i mean i didn't have it anywhere near as bad as you did um yeah whatever was going to be posted on my youtube i have a filter on my youtube so certain words get caught so i just went in to delete a load of stuff but I was I was mainly worried about you pretty much through the day. So, so no, I I looked at some of the comments and I was like, wow. I I right. So I I again like I I actually just can't believe some of the stuff that was posted. And the thing is, I'm I'm secure within myself. So any comments that they made about how I look didn't actually bother me. It was just the sheer volume of the people that were that were coming. Like it was just hundreds and hundreds of people. Like every time I refreshed there were more comments. Um, and I think for people who maybe probably are a little bit more insecure about how they look, this potentially could have been very dangerous. And you hear a lot about people taking their lives because of cyberbullying. And it's not to say it didn't affect me because it did, it made me very anxious, but it could have been way worse had I been one of those people that cared about what people thought of me in terms of how I look. Like, they were talking about um, my edges. So, like, I, listen, I speak about my edges all the time. I used to wear lace wigs, and I used to rip them off. So my edges are terrible. They picked up on my edges. They said I've got massive forehead. They were, um, my face was shiny in one of the videos. They were talking about that. What else were they saying? They called me fat, um, kept calling me chubby, um, said I was ugly, I was disgusting. What else was it? Like... It was just going on and on. They were making fun of, like, my hairstyles in general. It was endless. Like, it was just going on. And, like, even coming from the editing of my videos, like, everything. Like, that did bother me a bit. I thought, I'm just trying. Like, that, I was like, come on. Like, there were just so many things that I just thought, 
how like it was literally like jesus and the disciples like, you know how like people follow jesus in the bible like it was literally like that like they were literally just whatever she said in that video like she was just scrolling and saying oh check this out oh check that out like it was everywhere and i've still got comments somewhere on my instagram i haven't managed to go through all of my pictures but i'm just like it was relentless like mm. so relentless and i thought does no one know how to one be self-aware two think critically and three be mindful because again how did any of that happen they it, it, you would have just looked at the post and you would have thought oh this doesn't make sense and if it doesn't make sense then it's not true because mm -hmm. it just it, none of it aligned with what she was saying yeah. like none, none of it none of none of it at all aligned with what she was saying and i just think the irony of it all is that it's blue monday and i woke up this morning so anxious of like oh, what am i going to walk into now like is it going to continue is there going to be more stuff like is it going to happen again like is it going to go away like what's going to happen now like who is she going to message like it's just horrible and there's been yeah. no apology nothing yeah i mean i think i i woke up this morning and i think the only thing that was remaining to be taken down was the youtube stuff uh, on her community um and that was really bad, like but i think so yesterday i was a little pissed off and i was a little bit pissed off because when and this is there are a couple of things that i that are, that are definitely worthwhile noting and, and certain things that i know from yesterday YouTube reporting rubbish. Shit. Sure. They need to have something in, in place that allows people to actually be able to report this kind of stuff and maybe a, a way of prioritizing something so they can actually have things looked at and taken down quicker. The second one was the same thing with Instagram as well. It took way too long for that to happen. And the reason why I was a little bit pissed off yesterday was because for some reason I post financial content, right? I've just cost 5,000 subs today. Normally, and I know that the algorithm on, 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 on Instagram is like, it's weird, right? People see things. So on average, on average, when I post a story, I probably get maybe around 400 people see my story. Yesterday was my most popular day for stories ever. And it was weird because it was something controversial, right? And I was a little pissed off yesterday because for all of the people that follow me and get value and all that kind of stuff. And I know that people did take action. I just yeah. thought that if you, if you had a thousand people who saw like the stories, you'd have a bigger percentage of them actually just go out and just smash that, that, that comment section, trying to get it taken down. And I know that that means that people have got to make a little bit of an effort of their own, but people spend hours on YouTube looking at nonsense. Mindless stuff. Nonsense. So when something really, really matters, and I never ask for help on my channel, take a bit of time because it's serious. I wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't serious. And I think, you know, the reason why it was important to have the numbers to go and comment and report this stuff was because <laughs> unless Instagram saw a large number of people just going to say, listen, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, or in the comment section to pressurize her, to hit mm -hmm. her pride, it was never going to get taken down quick enough. And having it taken down quickly would have meant that the comments that you were getting were going to stop. And I just felt a little bit disappointed yesterday with the fact that for that many people seeing the stories, we had very, 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 very little in terms of that immediate reaction. I've had a few people message me with like, oh, well, we didn't really know what was going, going on and stuff. Like, well, okay, fair enough. But like, you spend hours on, on Instagram, most likely. Just, you could you know, just help out a little bit. But I don't know, that's just me. I was just a little bit disappointed. And I felt that, you know, it's one to yeah. kind of voice. I was, I did feel a bit bad by saying it, but at the same time, it was like, well, actually, no, it needs to be said because I get countless messages every day. I answer questions all the time, trying to add value to people. Like sometimes you have to give back and, and when, when it matters. And yesterday it mattered. But I do, I am thankful for a lot of people who did who did actually get it. Like, in Nadia's just joined. Like, just as you said it, you're thankful for people who've done it. Like, I've got to say, like, Nadia. And yeah, I mean, like, Nadia, I there was Jasmine, there was Ishlau. Martin, there were a ton of people that I, that I do yeah. know, that I interact with who were there.
but it was like yeah. the volume of people that we needed to really get it taken down quickly because we needed it reported or we to. Uh, it, I mean, it was there for pretty much, it didn't get taken down until I think it was about this time last night, it got yeah, finally it was, got it, taken down. So, and by then we would have had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. Had I not turned my comments off? Yeah, I mean, I had, yeah, I had a few friends. I had like Ishlau, got all, like, she used all of her accounts. She got her sister's report. She used her mum's two accounts <laughs> to report it. And, and her cousin as well, Shengel, who I know, who I know is in here. And I really appreciate it. But the thing is, it's like, I should, like, one person shouldn't have to use four accounts. It should be, for me, as a mental health blogger, who does so much, like, and I don't even sit here and say, yeah, well, I'll do this, and yeah, well, I'll do that for the mental health community. But let's be honest, I do a lot. Like, I do a lot, an awful lot for the mental health community. I'm always speaking. I'm always connecting with people. I'm always happy to share resources with people. People are always in my DMs asking for my advice. And of course, like, I, I, I'm not charged for those kinds of things. I don't ever ask for support. I only connect with people. Say, for example, if you've interacted with a post, I'll send it to you. I don't necessarily go out of my way to say to people, please like or share this. Please do this or please do that. But the one time where something was... It could, you know what? Like I said, had I, maybe even... If you'd have caught me at a time, like maybe within like the last few months previously or whatever, if I'd have been in like a worse place, like say, for example, like when I was going through like a grief period within my life, had this happened at, at that time, my emotional state, it, it could have tipped me over the edge. Like, it really could have tipped me over the edge. And I, I definitely am disappointed with regards to the lack of reaction of people on my page. Because if you're following me, it means that you're passionate about mental health. Like, you're, you're there for mental health. So to see, like, not as many people of what should should have been commenting on that post is really disappointing and the thing is i can see who views my post and the people at the top are very well aware of who sees my post first and that's the problem like i see the same people at the top of all of my stories viewing my posts but yet i didn't see them defending me or sticking up for me in the stories and it took for me to shame people as well to be like oh okay well if you haven't if you know me and you speak to me and you haven't stuck up for me or you haven't messaged me to see if I'm all right, then shame on you. And I was really pissed about it because I thought, it's fine though when people need something or they want something, you're quick. You're quick mm -hmm. to ask me. You're quick to ask me a question. You're quick to jump in my DMs. But when I need your help, you're not there. And do you know what as well? Some of it come from people that I knew really well. Like people that I know outside of Instagram people that I know and have connected with outside of Instagram, I didn't see their names on no posts. I didn't see shit. And I'm like, the worst thing is like, you, you're, they're the people that have my number. They're the people that, oh, if you need me, but yet yeah, you could clearly see I was distressed. I'd woken up, it was 10 past 10 in the morning. When I called you, I probably sounded like I was half asleep. I was like, Pete, what's going on? Like, I sounded out of it because I'd woken up and I'd had a million and one notifications. And I was like, what the hell was going on? Making a video clearly sounding distressed. And where were people? Like, I could probably count on two hands out of the 1,000 at the time, 1,000, I think I'd had 1,700 and something followers. And I had about 500 views on that story. I can tell you I didn't have 500 messages. Mm. I could tell you now I did not have 500 messages and people will sit there and they'll be like oh mental health this and mental health that and we need to you know be more mindful and we need to do this what <laughs> yeah what and I think that's that's the biggest thing for me I think ultimately it's all very well to pay attention to like something that is um big and sounds like heroic and um human right if it's trending like caroline's law where are all the people that were you know supporting that right so exactly. I, I it's all very well to follow those kind of things and feel passionate about those kind of things in the moment but i think ultimately i know that we all get busy with lives and we've all got things to do yeah but like this stuff does matter because everybody suffers from this that could have been anybody it could have, it might not have been, you know it could have been anybody it might not have just been you and i that could be anybody just being able to show support to your fellow man i think is really really important and like i don't know <laughs> yeah i struggle with it sometimes i just 
I think, you know, things get into the media and social media and all that kind of stuff. And it's a trend and people jump on it. They forget about it on a day to day level um, and don't necessarily um, it doesn't necessarily register as something that is important if it's not in the public eye. And I think, you know, we need to be mm. conscious of it on a day to day basis as something that we all need to be willing to support and work on mm. with people. Definitely. Um, I spoke to one of my friends, Seals, last night and like, it, do you know what, what she said, it was quite sad to hear, but she, it weren't a lie. She said, do you know what, ultimately people don't give a shit. <laughs> and well, like, that is true. And, and, and that is true. Like, that is absolutely true. Because ultimately people don't. People, don't and this is human nature. Everybody has um, this, this what's in it for me type thing. And if there is, for some people, if there isn't anything in it for them, they don't want to know. They're not interested. And I think that is a destructive kind of character to have. I certainly, I mean, look, everybody has that trait in them, but I think you have to constantly have to remind yourself that it's not just about you. It isn't. Like, look at what's going on with COVID at the moment. They put curfews on what you can buy in the shop. No, 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 I want more. Like, well, what about everybody else? Like, it's not just about you. What about everybody else? Because you can't go and pick up, you know, I don't know, a crate of eggs, right? Does that really end the world? Does it really? I mean, it's, it's not just about you. And I think sometimes people can and are a little bit too selfish. Maybe I need to be a little bit more selfish because I don't know. I'm just not built like that, though. I do. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too nice. But who knows? You need to get cash up and you need to start going on these things and doing cash up like some of these people. You know, I don't even know what that is. Everyone's was like, cash up me. And I'm like, what, the, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Cash app. It's like some instant pay. Well, I found out what cash app was yesterday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like some instant pay thing that, that they that they use on Instagram to instantly pay people. Like literally, they could just pay, they could just send you money. They can send you a fiver, send you money to your account. And to be honest with you, I just think that. You probably do what you should, because maybe then it will teach people a lesson to value you and value you and value your time. If people, yeah, if but people I mean, can't... this is something that I struggle with actually. You know, yeah. because I think I think people do definitely find value in what I do in terms of the content and everything like that. I yeah. think the YouTube growth is is testament to that. I think you have to give people options, and maybe this is where I need to be a little bit more ruthless when it comes to business and be like, listen, if you want my time, you've got to pay for it. Maybe I do, but I think that ultimately you have to empower people and. Sometimes money isn't the only thing that derives um, or gives you valid. I don't want to say validation. Money isn't the only reason why you should do things, if that makes any sense. Like, no, my mantra is money is a tool. Money is a tool to help you live the life that you want, right? That's my mantra. That's my whole thing. So, you know, I think for a lot of the very, very basic things that I talk about, look, go and pick it up for free. There's lots of stuff on YouTube. Just go pick it up for free. If you need my time, though, to help you on how you're going to do stuff, then, okay, if it's going to cost got, my time personally, then got you're going to pay to me. Actually, you know what? You need to enlist in, you need to enlist in my services that actually help. Yes. But I think for a lot of the, the basic information and stuff, there's, there's, ton, there's 100 videos now on YouTube. Go check them out. There's tons of it on there. There's tons of episodes of my podcast now. Go check those out. If you need me, though, you need my time, you want me to do something specifically, then you need to enlist my services. And I think that's, that's something that, I am, that I've started to kind of build out this yeah. year more than anything else, because it is necessary. Otherwise, I can't, I can't do this long term. Yeah. I, I think that money is a fair, fair exchange as well. Um, and do you know what I think as well? I think sometimes people are lazy because you do have a lot of content up there, but it's like people almost want you to spoon feed them I, yeah, I get that a lot on. of my videos. It's like, I, I do a video and yeah. it's like, I've just explained it and you're asking me to answer a question that I've literally just answered in the video. Like, literally. I literally just said it right there. You're asking me that question. It's like, you probably haven't paid attention to it. And I've got to the stage where now, because the volume of comments and, and, and questions that are coming through are just way too high, I have to weed those, weed those ones out. And I only focus on the ones that I think, okay, maybe I haven't covered this, maybe I can provide a little bit more context. But now, even the comments and the DMs that I'm getting are just, they're getting to the point where they're taking way too much of my time. But, you know, people are, are lazy by nature. We all are. I like to do things 
the quickest route possible and the most efficient mm -hmm. route possible. It means sometimes I do cut corners. That's a natural thing. But I think sometimes if it's a really important topic, you need to spend the time and the effort to actually, you know, uh, make sure you get the funding, particularly when it comes to investing, because that's no joke. You could lose a load of money. So, yeah, I just, I would just hope that anyone that sees this, like going forward, they're just a little bit more mindful and a little bit more respectful and aware. I think, do you know what? I've, I've recently realised that self awareness and emotional intelligence are a superpower that not everyone has access to, because some people really can't see past the end of their own nose, and it really, it really is something that needs to change. That people need to be more aware of what is going on outside of them and understand that you know there is a world outside of them, and that they need but you to know what though. That's a great point, but you know what? That comes with maturity a lot of the time. <laughs> it's true. It comes, it comes with maturity and life experience a lot of the time. Because, you know, I remember when I was like 20, 24, 25, I think, mate, I was not thinking about anybody else apart from myself. Like, if it weren't working for me, it ain't working for nobody. Like, yeah. nobody could do anything if I wasn't like, if it wasn't working for me, that was the end of it. Wasn't interested. If someone was else was losing as a result of it, I didn't care. Now I'm 41. It's kind of like you kind of you can look back at my site and be like, mm, maybe there are a few things that you know you learn. It isn't just about you, and it is about you know you look at life differently. And it's not it's because I think certainly for me, I'm looking at what would my legacy be. Yeah, you know what I mean. I want to leave something behind that that people will remember me for. Yeah. this is part of that you think that way because of the maturity and the age when you're 20 20 odd not necessarily but the funny thing is obviously the lady who did this yesterday she's in her 40s and i'm like like what's and that's down to i think maybe personal journey maybe she's had a really really hard time and she's just looking for a different way to get validation who knows i don't know that's speculation right but mm. i think ultimately what you do and how you project yourself, the money in which you project yourself says a lot about what you're going through in the moment. And I can guarantee you this, she must have been very, very unhappy in the moment when she did that. And to yeah. be honest, I feel sorry for her because of that fact. I am still trying to understand where she found me. Still don't understand where she found me. And that is, baffling me i know like some people have said oh yes yeah, because you know you're on the internet you know you know you're making a lot of noise but i'm like there are other accounts that are a yeah. lot bigger but, than but being on the internet from. being on the internet doesn't mean that people have the license to just like victimize you like i get i get it sometimes on youtube like a few people just constantly just digging and digging and digging it's like you've got nothing better to do with your day like literally you must come to my channel and think you can leave a snarky comment and you must feel really chuffed with yourself. Yes. It's like, for me, I'm, I just think you're an idiot and I don't pay any attention to it. Like, I'm just going to delete your comment. Like, if you feel that bad about what's going on in your life, you have to go on the internet of all places and give somebody abuse. Like, you need, you really, really, really need to sort yourself out. And I, part of me is like, I like winding those kind of people up. Because it's like, if you feel really that strongly and you want to vent, okay, I'll give you a reason to vent. I'll string you along. You can vent. Vent all you want. If you feel better afterwards, that's completely fine. But like, at the same time, it's hard not to react to personal attacks as well. And that's where the balance is. And sometimes I'm just like, you know, if I wake up in a bad mood, I'm just like, I'll let, her, I'll let somebody have it. And I let her have it in the DMs yesterday. Big time. I was going to say, you kept your composure in the comments. I was like... You, you definitely, I'm definitely saying you kept your composure in the comments way more than what I did. I was like, I, I was trying to argue with everyone in her comment section and I just had to stop myself. I was like, don't argue with trolls, Soraya. Like, I, 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 did, I did wind one of them up. I did wind one of them up this afternoon though because like she was just going on and on and on. I just thought, you know yeah. what, I'm going to give you a little bit back and get you to buy. And, you know, sometimes that's just a natural reaction. I think sometimes they deserve it. But like, you know... <laughs> I gave her a load of, I gave her, gave her a, a, I gave her a piece of my mind yesterday on the DMs. I think the audacity of the fact that we've had, she didn't even reply. Like I sent her one message and that was the first thing in the morning when I woke up and you had said to me, send her a message and say that, you know, and, and I think this was at the point where we didn't sort of realise that she knew 
then it mm. wasn't us but she just chose to do it anyway and I was like I'm not who you think I am whatever I still don't know if she's read it she probably hasn't because if you've messaged her and she hasn't come back to you then she probably ain't gonna come back to me um Nadia has asked how we thought I, I'm okay I'm just mentally drained if anything I am just mentally drained out of everything like just mentally drained man that like, I just don't know <laughs> I'm lost I think I've just lost the words as, as to how someone can find it in themselves to be so callous because they literally want someone else to come up to reveal who they are and yeah but the thing is right let me tell you the beautiful wait. thing and I said this to you earlier today right this is the beautiful thing She's got 142,000 subscribers on YouTube. So clearly, everything that she does gets adulation, it gets um, validation. And that's how she derives her own personal sense of fulfillment, right? She is nothing without her Instagram account, right? Without her YouTube account and her Instagram account, right? So for her, it emboldens her to do stuff. So she, she I literally watched the video, she said, go and get in their DMs. That's what she said. Then to have everything turn around on its head, with people who did comment in the comment box, then for obviously off the back of the live that you went on with Jessica, for people, for her followers to then be like, listen, you've got the wrong person here. This is completely wrong. Her taking down the YouTube video must have dented her pride massively. <laughs> and I think that's where the win is in the fact that, you know, the win is in knowing that she's learned a valuable lesson yesterday that she can't just do stuff because she's got 142,000 subscribers and get away yeah. with it because her fans are all on her side and all that kind of stuff. That's a lesson for her yesterday. And I think hopefully she learns from that. She doesn't do that to somebody else going forward. I hope so. I mean, some people have said that she hasn't taken the video down and that it's just private. That's what I, I have seen. And if, it ha and if that is the truth and it is private, I find that really sad. But I've reported her to YouTube anyway um, and given them the title of the video to mm. say, you know, this is, the, this, this is what's happened. This is the video. This is who is in the video. I didn't give her permission because I'd like to think that they can trace it back. And if they look through my account, they'll be able to see, they'll probably, they'll be able to see that there's an element of, tr of truth of what I'm saying. Even though there are, there's a large part of stuff that is gone, it's, it's not hard to connect the dots and actually think to yourself, oh, actually, like, it, it, like this woman has clearly been bullying and inciting hate speech and everything else. So, yeah. I've, the I've funniest thing, I'll tell you the funniest it. thing is, though, right? Because on the live yourself, I was just trying to think, what on earth is going on here? And then he started talking about, uh, what, what the fuck was it called? Uh average at best and i was like hang on a second i'm, I'm sure i saw a tiktok video average at best like, that went viral and i and i i remember the video because i was thinking dude like he was harsh right he Very was harsh. really really harsh then to be like hold up a minute people think that i'm that dude <laughs> like he's american i'm english like what the fuck like seriously it's crazy like but just people people just make Put two and two together and make it six. Make it seven. I, I went on his page today. Kevin, is it Kevin Russell? Kevin Samuels, I think it was. Kevin, something like Kevin that. Kevin Samuels, yeah. So I went, I went on his page today and I was like, you look nothing like this man. Like, and then, for, and then to, to say that you have had... Lip, lip fillers, chin implants. Chin, chin implants. And that with Freemasons. Apparently, it, right, the thing is, though, Pete, if we were Masons, right, let's put this into perspective, yeah? If we were Freemasons, yeah, and, it, and like, if she came off to us like that and we were Masons, her shit would have been shut down quick. Mm. Let's, let's be honest, like, if there was even any truth to what she was saying, and she, it, there was no truth to what she was saying, if there was... She, like, everything would have been closed down. And that's the thing that I don't get. Like, people that are following her, that think that we are who we say, like, who she says that we are, make it make sense. Because if she was telling the truth, she wouldn't, her channel wouldn't be up. And that's what yeah. I'm like, 
it doesn't like none of it even matches. Like yeah, but none of it even matches. So it's you know, it's it's telling the story, hell. isn't it? At the end of the day, it's all about selling the story. It's all about making it uh, a conspiracy theory that you know would be too crazy not to be true. That's essentially what it's about. And just some people buy into that, other people don't. And uh, clearly, there are a lot of people who do buy into it. Unfortunately, I just think it's ironic that it happened this weekend and today is Blue Monday, like the most depressing Monday of the whole year because it's middle of January. Everyone's got. I tell you what, I only heard that earlier doing the accountability circle. I'm like, I've had a great Monday. Like my mum, my Monday has been <laughs> incredible. Like literally, I set some goals. Like I'm like, I'm gonna smash through that goal like tonight. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, this is a good Monday. I'm, and someone's like, oh, it's Blue Monday. It's like, it's the most depressing Monday of the, of the, of the year. And I'm like, I've had a really good day. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe I it's because I didn't know Mondays. that it was supposed to be Blue Monday. I just wasn't aware until like an hour or two ago. But then it comes with the whole thing of like labels and connotations. Like it's almost like, some, like, like this woman, for example, you tell people the sky is green and they'll believe you. You tell someone it's Blue Monday and automatically that could put someone into a naturally more depressive mood. And I knew it was Blue Monday today. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to do self-care today. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to engage too heavily with what is going on. And I'm going to make sure that I'm, that I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Because that was what was most important. And to be fair, like, yes, I did wake up a bit anxious. Yes, I am drained. But... I didn't, there was only a certain part of where I wanted it. Like, I had to stop letting it affect me to that point mentally. I thought, you know what? Now it's a choice. I have to stop allowing it to affect me even more because I'm, I know I know who I am and I know I'm not Jessica. So what she's saying is false. So therefore, I don't need to let it affect me as such. I guess it's just the element of messages. I just hope that they don't come back. So I think we should be okay. I think you should be okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And I, I think, you know, what you just said there is so, so important. Like, sometimes when there's negativity and stuff like that, it's really, really important to kind of, like, set your mind on what you will allow to influence you. And I know it can be very, very hard. There are certain things that will come along that you just can't help but feel a certain way about. But, like, mindset and mentality is so it's key to everything. Good day, bad day, good year, bad year. Uh, personal growth or whether you feel good or bad about yourself it all starts here it all starts there so it's really really important that we to make a conscious effort to regulate this like really really regulate this like we're in my household we don't have negative talk at all like we always and we always talk about you know what are we thankful for you know what are things and like don't get me wrong like shit happens right and things don't yeah. always go to plan but We'll deal with it when we get there. If it comes yeah. along, right, we'll deal with it in the moment. We're not thinking about, oh my God, fuck, COVID, shit. What's going to happen here and what's going to happen there? No, like deal with it day at a time and try and control this. It leads to a much, much happier place. And as stressful as it was yesterday, and as, yeah. as far as I got yesterday, I was more concerned about the fact that it's unfair for people to send somebody else messages online and just give them shit for no fucking reason whatsoever. That's what infuriated me. And, but at the same time, it's, it's controlling this mindset is so important. Yeah, I definitely feel like tomorrow I'll wake up even more refreshed. Um, yeah. She definitely woke up with some humble pie, definitely. And that gives me a lot of satisfaction. She woke up this morning you know when you've done something wrong and you're like <laughs> your pride's preventing you from accepting that you've done something wrong and yeah. you fight it but in the back of your mind you're like yeah that was really really shit she woke up with that this morning i can guarantee you that uh, do you know what though i want to say you're right but i just i don't know like i really am so I would like to, honestly, I would genuinely like to think that you're right, but I think that if you have that much audacity to do what you've done, maybe you're someone that believes your own eyes. You know those people that actually believe their own eyes? Mm -hmm. And, like, literally don't hold themselves accountable and think, oh, I've taken it down, that's fine. And literally, 
refuse to feel in order to absolve themselves of responsibility. I kind of almost feel like she's could be there, but I hope that I'm wrong. I hope, I'm I, right. I, I hope think she does feel like this that. This is what I think. This is what I think. Just looking at her Instagram and stuff like that and looking at how she presents herself, she's all about self-validation. That's what she's yeah. all about. She's all about self-validation from everything that she posts. She wants to put that outward kind of uh, image of being strong, secure, high level. Uh, I can't, they, they kept using, because I was watching some of the videos yesterday, they used this phrase, a high value man or woman, right? She tried to put that out there. Like that's who she is. She's not, she's actually, deep down, she's actually quite insecure. And like, just to make a point yesterday, I gave her shit in the DMs, like proper, and told her, you're a 40 odd year old woman, you have kids, you're feuding on YouTube, building up all this negativity that has ended up having 200 some people in the midst of your stuff. Like what example are you leaving for your kid? Like seriously, like on yeah. the real, what example are you leaving for your kid? And whilst you may think that that's gonna bounce off her like nothing, like water on the duck, yeah. trust me, that is gonna hit her because she's all about self-validation. And the minute people started saying, oh, you're wrong, that would have dented and made her think twice. And she'll be stubborn and try and be like, oh, no, 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 it doesn't phase me. But trust me, it does. It does. Yeah, and I think it's just disappointing, especially when it comes from another woman. And I was just a bit like, I just, yeah, I just felt, I felt, I felt disappointed. Felt, I felt all kinds of, all kinds of emotions, all kinds of emotions yesterday. But I'm glad that it's over for the most part. That's all I can say. I'm glad that it's over for the most part. Um, I'm I'm glad that I that, well, that we got to go on YouTube Live to say that it wasn't us. And like, part of me wonders how it would have gone had I not been able to get on that live, mm -hmm. and what would still be going on today had I not had the opportunity to be like, like, what is going on? Like, I, do you know what I mean? Having to mm -hmm. do it without going on there. So I definitely think going on that live helped massively 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 um but yeah to everyone that has been like super supportive and super nice like it's, yeah it's been like just really appreciate it and to like all the people that have called me messaged me like that actually did go on the post and you know tell her that she's a piece of shit and all that kind of thing we appreciate it thank you very much yeah. <laughs> um yeah and i just would hope that she never ever 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 does this ever again she might do it again but i guarantee you she's gonna do it twice because yeah. she, her, she, her ego would have taken a massive massive hit yesterday huge hit she thinks she's untouchable she's not so um, i'd just say to anyone that's going through blue monday today just look after yourself when you if you ever feel down or wake up feeling anxious i think sometimes it has to do with our phones don't look at your phone for the first hour when you wake up sometimes, you know? Like, I think it's sometimes that feeling of always being connected, like constantly connected to the net. And I think that it, it can cause in us sometimes separation anxiety or constantly needed to be that, like, that connection. So yeah, I think sometimes one well, of my big lesson as well is just to sometimes just, I need to massively disconnect sometimes. And I think that was my issue you need as well. Re in, re with my content anxiety. regulation is key. Like regulating your content. Like I don't, I don't watch nonsense on like, on Instagram. Like I follow people that I want to follow that I think are interesting or positive. I don't follow mm. nonsense. Basically, regulating your mm. content is really, really important. And like I'm gonna say, I, I, one of my one of my close mates, Barbie, right? She's lovely. She's brilliant. I've said this on the podcast a number of times. I'm gonna say it again here, and I've said it on lives on my channel. Like, there are two kinds of people in life. At the end of the day. This is what yeah. it boils down to in terms of the type of people that you have in the world. You have radiators and you have drain pipes. Radiators are the ones who warm up your life, bring positivity, yeah. they empower you, they egg you on, they encourage you, they want you to do really, really well. Then you have drain pipes, who are the ones who just suck the fucking life out of you because they have nothing better to do themselves and they feel sorry for themselves and they want to make your life shit just because theirs is shit. Yeah. Get rid of the drain pipes. You should only ever have radiators Radiate. around you. I have no drain pipes anywhere near me. Nowhere near me. I don't sit in the same room as them. I don't entertain conversation with them. 
I don't, I don't, I don't bother. I do not tolerate that kind of stuff. So for me, radiators are, I'm all for radiators. I love radiators. If, ra if radiators want to come and talk with me, I'm, we'll have a great conversation. If you're a drain pipe, you and I will never, ever meet. And yesterday is a prime example of drain pipes. They are fucking negative. They're damaging. They're fucking horrible. They're vile. You just don't need them. Drain pipes are just out of the door. You need radiators all day long. Amen. Yeah. I definitely think that, yeah, those people yesterday were drain pipes. And I think it just sort of, I think they definitely sucked me in because I like, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely someone who's always on my phone, whether I'm checking like work emails, like, cause I'm just on the go all the time. So I just think yesterday, I just felt the need to just be so aware of everything that was going on, whether it was my name in a comment, like constantly delete, like literally air, oh, it took me ages. Just trying to delete everything <laughs> yesterday, like just delete, 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 delete. Like I literally felt so sucked in. It was really horrible, you know? And then like today I was just like, block, block, block. Um, today I was just like, I can't deal with this. Like I can't deal with constantly being on my phone. Like I definitely feel like I'm going to come away with this just wanting to regulate myself more on a posting basis like, i know you're supposed to be social on social media and all of that kind of and all of that kind of stuff but i just think that sometimes you have to put like your mental health first and if that means like disconnecting on a more consistent basis too like i just need to do a posting schedule because i don't have a posting schedule so i think that having a posting schedule will probably help me disconnect massively because being sucked into all of that and then just constantly seeing abuse. Like, my name's a hashtag on YouTube now. Like... But hey, but that may that. not necessarily be a bad thing for the future because pe you know what? If people hashtag you now, people are going to see you for the positive work that you're doing, not necessarily because of that. They might find that first, but when they yeah. go and dig more about you, they'll be like, oh, yeah, she's a mental, mental health advocate. Like, she's yeah. doing some really, really cool work. So that's not yeah. necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, it's not. It's, that's not a lie. That's definitely not a lie. But I think it is just going through all of these videos yesterday where I was hashtagged in it. And I was like, and just seeing, and I think, I think the thing is that the, thing that, the things that were appearing at the top wasn't the stuff that I'd worked on. And I think that's probably what irritated me more that I've worked for some of this stuff and it's not actually appearing at the top. It's the stuff that I want nothing to do with. <laughs> that I'm being that I'm being dragged into, and I just thought, well, great. But as a, like as you sort of again, we spoke earlier. I'm just going to put a video up saying it's not me. Please leave me alone, and please stop commenting on my stuff because there are still a couple of comments and stuff on there, and there are still yeah some people going. So I just need to put that up there. I'm turning all my comments off on YouTube because. much it's just way too much they're gonna give up at some point because <laughs> totally Hopefully they're they need fire to to keep it going and stuff and if you just be they're like not, yeah they're not gonna use me as a radiator like i'm not gonna you know? be there more now exactly so the minute you stop start giving them the attention that they need especially if it's like they're still going at this point then that's just really fucking sad <laughs> it's like yeah, there a couple of comments. Life, mate. you know what i mean so there were a couple of comments a couple of hours ago and I was just like, I actually need to go and wash my hair now, so <laughs> I haven't got time for this. I yeah. literally don't have time for this. Um, but yeah, it's just a mixture of a mixture of emotions, really. Just, I think everyone could just see on my face. I think everyone could just see yesterday of how it was and how I felt. Just was it nice? Was yeah. not nice. But ultimately, like, you know, I think people need to also remember that life isn't actually based on social media. Like, YouTube and Instagram are not life. Let's get real here. Like, fuck it out. Like, sort your stuff out. Like, if you're seriously, if everything you do is revolving around social media and, like, Instagram, there's something completely wrong. Like, there are, there is life out there that matters more than just social media. 
and like people are real there are genuine people out there as well i think sometimes we lose sight of that as much as we're connected i think sometimes we actually miss the real connection unfortunately yeah no it's true i definitely think there's a lot of positivity out there on social media like i said 100 percent um and there are some great people and you do meet some wonderful people but yeah there are some real real horrible people that definitely bring a dark side out like i've just had someone send me a message on the questions um saying that the woman practices high occult magic and said she was doing a pendulum swing i don't know what that is i am not sure but what i can tell you is no weapon formed against me shall prosper and anything you do to come at me will come back at you in tenfold so i'm um, just do you know what i mean like honestly I pray for people's healing. That's the only thing you can do in these times, in it. Like you just gotta pray for people's healing, and I've got to, like and like just hope and hope that they come to their senses because I'm just not like like I said, nothing. If you try to knock me, it ain't gonna happen. Like I'm not. I'm. I'm. <laughs> it's and I'm not even Christian, Nadia, and I'm quoting the Bible. And if you try to knock me, it's not, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm not going to allow someone to drag me into something that is, I have nothing to do with. Like I said, I've never, I've never even heard, past, past yesterday, I'd never heard of these women. I don't know them. I know nothing of them. And they're coming for a mental health blog trying to bring me down. But it's not, it's not going to happen because my strength is stronger than that. Like, it's just, I can't, I have too many good things going for me right now at this point in my life to allow some internet beef, because that's what it is, it's some internet beef to, to, to try and drag me. But like I said, really, when I'm people say, oh, she practices but... witchcraft and all that kind of stuff, I laugh at that. I don't believe in any of that bullshit. Go and cast a spell. Good luck, mate. Like, I don't believe in <laughs> any of that. If you think that that's going to scare me, I'm going to laugh in your face. Like, I don't believe in any of that nonsense. But, yeah. There this we go. But I think def definite lessons to, to learn. And I think ultimately, you know, at the end of the day, mental health is really, really important. I think we need to focus on that. And um, so we thank you to everyone who did actually, you know. Yeah help get all that stuff down because you know it's not warranted and it's not right and you know it, and to everyone really that didn't i called for and to everyone that didn't and thought it didn't matter and thought that you know it was just some little thing shame on you again <laughs> but i think if you're on the side you probably did contribute in some way i'll be honest um so yeah i just yeah. really appreciate the support and yeah, just it was just one gigantic mess. And yesterday I was feeling very, very low. But you can't put a healthy job down. No. <laughs> and like, from here on out, just have a have a good week, have a good week and stuff. So yeah, I've got, I've got a ton of stuff on this week, and just like yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Yes. We've got past we've got past Blue Monday. Yes, a hundred percent. On a good vibe like, as well, which is a hundred percent on on a know? very good vibe, on a very very good vibe. We've got lots of positive things going for us right now. And I will just continue to focus on the positivity that is coming my way. And P, like... I'll you tell know, you what I think you should do, right? Yeah. I think because you do mental health um, kind of like content. Yeah. It would be really, really good to see you do a case study on this. Do you reckon? Yeah. Because you have, it's lived experience for you now, right? Yeah, sure, actually. So for you to actually do, because look, out of all of this nonsense and this bullshit, something positive come out of the back of it, I think a case study would be really, really, like, would be a positive outcome. So that for anybody else who's dealing with that kind of stuff, they have uh, an example of how to deal with it from, like, up here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that would be a really, really great thing for you to do. Yeah. How do yeah? How did I yeah? I, I would probably say that I coped with it quite well. Yeah, looking back on it, 
It would just be to look, take some time and just yeah. kind of like reflect on it and just look at the steps that you did and how you got to the place of where you are right now, where you're going to be tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and by the end of this week to see how you actually cope with this and actually put that out as a case study. I think that would be really, really, really powerful. Well, the first thing, I, one of the first things I done yesterday evening was contact a therapist. I was like, I need your help. I was like, can I book a therapy session? And I was like, yeah. so I've, like, I think it's that self-awareness as well. I, would, I think that's probably one thing because I've recognised my anxiety, mm -hmm. which is which can be a really hard thing to do. I recognised it. I could see that there was something going on and I contacted a therapist. So yeah, that's something that I'm looking to book because I just think that... Um, there's a saying that I have, it's not, it's not your fault what happens to you, but it is, it is my responsibility when it comes to making sure that my well-being is in like tip-top condition. Mm -hmm. And I think that if I continue to hang on to whatever happens, then it's not harming anyone else. It's not harming this woman. It's only harming me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably the most responsible thing I can do is make sure that my well-being is okay. Absolutely. That, and, the, and those are powerful thing. lessons to go into a case study. Like, really. Really, really powerful. So I think that would be a really good outcome and a positive outcome that adds to your work. Yeah. That's happened. So, so definitely consider that. And you can do it in different formats. You can do it in a written form. You can do it in a, I don't know, a, a video form. There are many ways that you can do it, but I, I think you definitely do it because I think people will, will learn from that as a lesson and I think it'll be great yeah I think I could probably put it out as a blog I could probably do it in three forms I could probably do the, uh, the blog version the podcast version and the YouTube version saying like if you've ever been cyber bullied look at look yeah. at this because the thing is it is it is a massive issue and it it happens across all age bands like and this is the thing like it doesn't it doesn't discriminate on age race gender nothing like it can happen to anybody and it does happen to anybody because you get kids that unfortunately take their lives and you get older people carry on flack that mm -hmm. also take their lives because of cyberbullying too mm -hmm. and that's really sad and i think that's probably one thing that disappointed me even more yesterday is that these people really didn't care about the consequence because could you imagine right let's just play devil's advocate right could you imagine if all of these people yesterday had continued attacking me all day and i did take my life and then they found out that I was innocent. Mm -hmm. What what then? Mm -hmm. What then? How But there's also a question in there around accountability as well. And this is where, you know, what I said earlier becomes even more important in terms of what are the mechanisms to be able to report this kind of stuff and for it to be dealt with swiftly. Those kind of things are important as well. And those are key considerations to have in the in the case study. Like yeah. you know, as you know maybe lessons learned or things to improve those are important things to learn but within the case study like documenting your experience and linking to if you're going through this right now this is how i dealt with it these are some things that you can do this is a link to some resources a therapist for example if you wanted to speak to someone you can go to here but giving someone a clear path, whereas if they're in this like dark place, having to deal with all of this nonsense, they have a route out. And I think yeah. that piece of work could be really, really, really powerful. Yeah, because I wouldn't want this to happen. Do you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. And I just think that doing a case study and sort of basing it on reporting as well, because depending obviously on what, with what comes back to YouTube, we know that Instagram have been a little bit useless. Mm -hmm. they've, they've been very, very slow. Um, and, and the thing is, there are certain things on Instagram that you actually can't say about men. Um, because I know that there's one, um, there's one, one person that I know, la la la, let me explain. Mm -hmm. um, you, are, you have to say pens are cash. Like, if you know what I mean, like, you, I can't say the other, I can't say the other phrase, otherwise it brings people out of her life. Right. But when it comes to Instagram and it comes to things like racism, the amount of racist pages, pages that I've seen where people are getting bullied mm -hmm. and all of this kind of thing, they are super, super slow in terms of doing anything about it. And I think, I don't know what is going on with the algorithm. I don't know how they can't pick up on things like cyberbullying, 
more consistently across the board. But I think in the ages of AI, considering I actually work in technology recruitment anyway, I know a lot about AI and artificial intelligence and machine learning. I'm actually confused why they can't pick it up. And that to me says a lot about our system. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the YouTube and Instagram, I and mean, this is the one thing that I found out yesterday, is you can't physically actually go and speak to a person. Like, you it's can't. Ridiculous. And like getting there, like, I don't know how the likelihood of this happening, but it is worthwhile actually just flagging up and saying, look, this is a common theme. And the thing is, right, so if, if what you went through yesterday, people are going through every single day. Yeah. So again, like case study, and if you can get um, some, some form of involvement or contribution from Instagram in terms of feedback or what they're doing and all that kind of stuff, and maybe best practices that they recommend, all of that stuff adds texture and real value to a case study. And it will it, it be something that people can actually use. I think they need to, I think there's a lot they need to change, to be honest. I think there's a lot they need to do to support people more. But yeah, do you know what, to be fair, I think just sort of thinking about it now, I could probably write for England, to be honest. Like, you know, like once you get writing about something, it just mm -hmm. goes on and on and on and on and on. So I think that's something that I should take my time and do because yeah. just would not wish, would not wish this. Wouldn't wish it on anyone. Yeah. Ever, 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 ever. But um, thank you so much for suggesting doing this because I, feel, no, I feel, feel I feel lighter. Good. I definitely Good. feel a bit lighter. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to, I'm going to save, I'm going to download and save the video. I don't know if I'll keep it up though. And I'll just say that because, do you think like, sure, I don't know, but do, well, I'm not, I'm really not sure if I should keep, just should, should I keep this video up? Like, what do people think? I do, I it's up to you. I think any, anyone who's coming on is like, oh my God, you're still talking about this is a fucking drain pipe. And they can yeah. fuck off in, in plain English, really, to be honest. Yeah. So if you get anyone who's going to give you any hate for keeping this up, when ultimately, this is a conversation about something that everybody should be paying attention to and everybody yeah. should be aware of as something that is happening every single day if they have a problem with it. And if you do keep this up and yeah. a drain pipe is watching this, go fuck off. Like, seriously, just go find something better to do. Like, yeah. I seriously. think and that's, and that's the point because the thought of keeping it up and potentially getting trolled again has just made me feel anxious. Do you see what I mean? Like, and that's how it's related because all she done was said, yeah, got get in their DMs and look what happened but do you know what you're right and i think i shouldn't allow myself to be tone policed by a bunch of drain, drain pipes i have you know every right to speak about this experience because it happened and it's not nice it's and not you know what Saraya? the most important thing is someone who might be going through it right now might find this recording and think oh yeah she was okay and they may take something from this that will help them yeah so at the end of the day i think Every opinion is important. Every imp opinion carries weight. And you never know who you're going to touch. And that's something that I've definitely learned on YouTube. You don't know who you're going to touch. You, you have no yeah, idea. Yeah. Like, I have a 13-year-old on a live with me like two weeks ago. Like, a 13-year-old talking about, wow. I really want to invest. I really want to invest. I'm reading about investing. 13 years old. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, I wish I was that kid at 13 years old. You never know who you're going to touch. Yeah, at 13, I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about going to the shop and buying two-piece wings. <laughs> I know, I, I know, right? <laughs> 13 years old, I wasn't talking about, you know, possibly learning how to invest because you've seen videos and stuff like that and you've taken an interest in it at 13 years old. You don't know who you're going to touch. Like, you could touch someone profoundly just by having this up. You just don't know. So, keep it. You're not wrong. To be fair, I might put, I might just put this on YouTube. I know I said I was going to do a video, but I might just put this video on YouTube as well, and that way people can see it too, as well as Instagram. Because you're right, and it's true. And I just feel like, yeah, if anyone is going through this, like, don't sit with like, don't hang on to the pain in it. Like I'm working through it, and believe you me, yesterday. What's the time now? Yeah, yesterday wasn't a great day, like in terms of the evening. I think by the evening I was wiped out. I was on my bed, like. Mm -hmm. But I had, you know, I think the importance is as well, having a good support, a good support system. 
like yesterday honestly made me realize that i genuinely do have some good people around me that were literally calling me around the clock calling me messaging me around the clock to make sure that i was okay like are you okay have you eaten like are you all right and i feel like had i not had the support of people yesterday just messaging me and keeping in touch i also think that that would have had a big effect on me too mm -hmm. so yeah just really grateful because i even you and like you're all right you're okay and like, i can't i really appreciate that because yeah i think sometimes you can literally just get you could just get stuck in it all yeah but you know what you're a radiator and i have i have time for radiators all day long and that's the bottom line <laughs> so, yeah, you know <laughs> thank you thanks no um i mean i know to be fair we said that we were going to catch up but i mean didn't plan on the catch up being this yeah. i know i know right so but... i actually do need to speak to you about coming on the podcast actually because i've got a couple of things um planned uh possibly for march that needs to be recorded in next in february at some point so i'm recording beginning of february so we should talk about that separately okay that's fine shoot me a message sure. look to be fair I work from home anyway so oh, cool. that's fine whenever and then we can go through that because i'll be cool. flexible and stuff cool. but yeah thanks that's guys cool. for joining us um and yeah just again just everyone whoever sees this and if you have trolled someone before think twice think twice and if you are a victim of trolling and you want someone to speak to and you want to know how i've gone through it let me know get in touch because i wouldn't ever want anyone to go through this ever yeah cool all right i've got to shoot a video all right okay. tomorrow cool catch you later guys <laughs> take care bye everyone bye.